Hey guys, Guy Level here, and today we're gonna to be talking about a couple of features for Twitch.tv that were announced during TwitchCon 2019. Now I'm making this video just to show all the announcement in case you missed some of them, uh, to explain a couple of things, but also to clarify that not all of them are going to take effect right now so some of them are already applied you've probably seen the twitch website changes but some of the features announced are actually coming next year so we do not have a precise date for every single feature announced and of course everything is subject to change this is just announcements if twitch never deliver on their promises that's not on me i don't work for twitch yet so as usual, it's a hassle to keep up with what's going on with Twitch if you're not following them on social media and constantly checking your social media. So we're going to try to go one by one in chronological order on what they actually announced. I believe the biggest one is the rebranding. They changed the colors. The website has a whole new look. The dark mode is super dark. Now, when you hover, it shows some colors. Uh, your channel page is going to look different. As you can see here, it doesn't showcase any numbers. It doesn't show you how many followers you have and how many people you're following. In fact, the following tab is completely gone. But keep in mind, they also announced that they were going to change this uh, front page, basically the channel page altogether. So this specific change here is not one that's going to stay, according to Twitch, at least. Now, if you want to read the articles or find uh, the information, there will be all the links in the description. This is their Twitter page. They pretty much post, post everything there. Uh, and then there's two pages where the main changes were announced. They also announced that they were redesigning the channel page. So as I said before, your channel page looks like this now. And if you hate that design or the fact that they kept events and, and got rid of uh, following, it's going to change. They're going to have your channel page basically be like a social media page. You will have your tabs. You can even show your schedule. It kind of reminds me of Instagram. But basically, yeah, your channel page is going to be more customizable and a little bit more personal from what I've seen. It really showcases who you are as a streamer and what kind of content you can expect from the channel. Uh, channel page will be rolling out later next year. Mod view is one of the most exciting features they announced. As you can see here, it's pretty much a dashboard for your mods. It gives you all the tools and everything. It's kind of like a command center for your mods. So they're not just watching the, the stream just like everyone else. They have their tools available and they can really control everything all in one screen without having to play around with rolling menus and all of that. So mod view will be rolling out next spring. Twitch Studio is that another huge announcement it feels like twitch is finally grasping the idea that we want customization where it matters basically the fact that twitch doesn't support alerts and stuff like that you probably heard me complain about that before but Twitch is pretty much doing this now. They're really adding those those uh, features that will help every streamer on the platform. So basically, Twitch Studio is a way for you to customize the look of your stream, where you can put your social media pop up, uh, you can put your your chat, you can uh, your events list, and all of that straight from the website, which is amazing. I don't know if it's going to work with browser source links meaning that you need to do it on PC or if it's going to be kind of like those extension overlays. If it is made through uh, extension overlays, that will mean that console streamers will finally have widgets, which is amazing news, but I need to confirm that before. <laughs> so Twitch Studio will be rolling out this November, so in about a month. So they made some changes to the creator dashboard, which is pretty cool. As they say, we're completely revamping the streamer experience. So we're gonna have your activity, your chat, the live preview, and then all the little options that you get on your creator dashboard, such as rating people, clipping stuff, running ads. And of course, you can customize those buttons. So it's kind of like a stream deck on your creator dashboard. It's a little simpler and it has a better presentation. I really i am all for this new creator dashboard because I don't even use the current one at all. It's so confusing. <laughs> you can check out the new dashboard in October. Channel points. Now, channel points is something that we already seen a little bit. They were testing it out, but now they're really announcing what their plans are for it. So it's going to be customizable. There's going to be things to unlock and all of that. So basically kind of like the whole channel point that we're kind of used to using external services such as the Streamlabs chatbot or, or nightbot. Now they have a pretty cool feature. It is like unlocking tier one emotes. By watching the stream and, and getting points, you can unlock emotes, which is a great thing that didn't happen before <laughs> and of course the fact that it's built in twitch is is just great so this is rolling out for affiliates and partners in january 2020 and there's an update with the twitch app for ios or you can now subscribe to your favorite streamers <laughs> now the cool thing is that you can buy multiple sub tokens at once that means that if you want to buy 12 tokens that means 12 months sub you can buy it 
on the spot rolling out this October. I don't know. I've never used the Twitch app on iOS. Okay. Now for viewers, there's also pretty good uh, announcements when it comes to the ads. They are updating the ad experience on Twitch. Thank God. As they say, we're introducing a series of updates to improve the ads experience for viewers and streamers. Starting in the next two weeks, affiliates will earn a revenue share from ads. That means that you are, when, when people try to raid you and all of that, all those annoying ads, you are making uh, money out of it as an affiliate and also as a partner, like as usual. But like as an affiliate, you are getting revenue from them. So on top of being annoying, at least this time, your viewers can know that watching the ad actually contributes to the, to the streamer. Basically from then, Every video ad you see on a streamer's channel supports that channel. That is great. No more, hey, this ad supports Twitch. <laughs> Affiliates and partners can disable pre-roll ads. That means that when you're first coming to the channel and then you have that ad that play, you can disable that. And once you have it disabled, you can run ad breaks. You can do that from your dashboard. Basically, if you're going on your BRI back screen or something, you can play an advertisement that actually supports you while you're away and then you come back and then you continue the stream. They also tried to update the ads uh, to normalize the volume because apparently some some ads were playing way too loud and scaring people, I guess. And they say, this is just the beginning of an ongoing improvements on the ads experience. Starting later this year, we'll show an estimated payout for ad breaks so streamers know what they may earn before they run them. Beautiful. Twitch is doing stuff that even YouTube is not doing. This is more transparency or and in, in, in a more hands-on experience on, on how your community actually watches ads. I feel like if the streamer controls the ads, it's a little bit better because it's well placed. Okay, it's not just placed at every beginning, every time you're checking a streamer out for the first time or something, which is so annoying when you're raiding people. But also if the community knows that what they're watching right now supports the streamer, it's so, so much better. I think that's great. They also showed a video called Picture picture by picture, picture in picture, <laughs> I don't remember. But basically where they show that you will still be able to see the content while the ad is playing, which is great, which is so, so great. It's, Twitch is making moves, chat. Twitch is making moves. They also announced next year TwitchCon date. So the one in Europe is going to be in Amsterdam, May 2020. Uh, and of course, San Diego, September 25th to 27th. And if you're asking, yes, I'm going to the one in Amsterdam for sure. I'm also going to try to make it to San Diego, but I'm going to Amsterdam for sure. Starting in October, they announced polls. You can actually run polls straight from Twitch. This is amazing. This is awesome. Usually people would use programs such as straw poll, which worked pretty well. And there was like extensions that work with Twitch and all of that. But it's cool that you can do this straight from Twitch. The poll feature is uh, set to roll out in October this year. So 2019. And they have this thing called the hype train. Turn great moments into community events. Now they didn't expand very much on this one. But what I'm guessing it is, it's basically a timer. You set a timer and basically your chat must go crazy during this timer. It's the hype train. So everyone's going to uh, subscribe. Everyone's going to give uh, gifted subs. They're going to cheer and all of that basically within that time limit. And you're apparently going to get a percentage and, and stuff like that. So they didn't elaborate much, but I'm guessing that's what it is. It's something that I already do on my stream basically if someone hosts i'll be like hey everyone host now let's get on with it and it creates like a like two to five minutes of pure hype it's supposed to roll out uh later this year 2019 and then we have the bits auto refill <laughs> running low on bits not anymore uh, <laughs> this one kind of makes me laugh because <laughs> because basically you can set your account to buy bits every time you fall under a certain amount of bits. So you never run out of bits. I don't think I'm going to be using this feature, but it's cool. It's cool. And the bits auto refill is uh, rolling out this October. So there are some pretty great announcements. Honestly, like the Twitch studio could be a game changer for, especially for console streamers. I can't wait to learn more about it. And when it comes out, obviously I'm probably going to make a video about it. Okay. I need you to leave a couple of things in the comment section below. I want, I want to know which feature you're the most excited about which TwitchCon are you going to attend next year and and of course if I made any mistakes or if you want to clarify some things or if I forgot some features announced leave them in the comment section below I can't wait to read them if you guys are looking for some dope overlay I know Halloween is coming I have the old Halloween overlay that is on top of my Gumroad page right now so gumroad.com slash get level for for some free overlays and some cheap overlays but also know that I'm working on a new Halloween overlay pack so if you're waiting for that 
then uh, it'll be out in a couple of days. If you haven't started using Streamlabs OBS yet, there's a link in the description. If you want to know what camera do I use, my mic setup and everything and the lights, link in the description also. If you have any questions about streaming, join my Discord, link in the description. We have over 300 people. We're all streamers and we can all help each other. What else? Uh, follow me on Instagram. I post a lot of things on my Instagram stories. I'm very active on Twitter. So yeah, like, I'll see you guys there. But that's it for today. I got to go back to working on those Halloween overlays. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I will see you guys later. Go out there, make me proud, get level, 